using the Russell book as a prime source. You cannot beat prototype photographs, by the way. This, for the sharp eye, is an earlier manifestation of the 61XX. This is what we're going to look at next. Now, the Great Western, in its wisdom, if not uniquely, almost without exception, did its boiler smoke box handrails in one go with a rising arc over the smoke box door. Now, I'm using 0.45 brass wire. Alan Gibson sells this. It, it's just the job for handrail pillars. And I've started the first curve. Now, it really is a little bit of trial and error. What you've got to do is to replicate that curve only a slightly wider radius. By that I mean it's, it's a distance, a slight distance away from the smoke box. The distance, in fact, being the depth or length of the handrail pillar. The way I try to tackle it is a kind of mirror image way. So you sort of put it back to front, as it were, and I'll show you how we do that. Now that's the side that's going to go there. And I'm going to start the bend. I've made a first bend using pliers there. I'm going to start bending with my fingers. I hope you notice as well, I've already fitted one of the handrails. That's the center one. If you don't fit it at this stage and you kink the wire, it won't go round. Now that's not too far away now, it's starting to go. So we've got to decide where we make our next bend, which is a bit of a reverse curve. Now this is the hard bit. You've got to sort of try and remember and nick it with the pliers. Now don't nick it all in one go, just make a small mark and try that, because you can go back. That's not far off, and that's amazing luck if that's correct but it should be visible that that's now pretty much mimicking the shape of the smoke box. It goes in a rising R. I've put the bend in and I don't think that's far away. If you note it's almost a double reverse curve that it kinks one way and then the other. Now that's critical because that tiny distance there dictates how far away the handrail is from the edge of the smoke box, the side edge of the smoke box. Now I'm using snipe nose pliers to bend that back. That may be a bit too far. There we go. The wire, the brass wire is very malleable and it can be a help, but you never get any, anything for nothing. And you'll find that it is very easy to kink. If you kink it and you produce a real crease, forget it, you won't get that out. You can tease odd bits out. So let's go to our mirror image and offer that up. Now it's a bit too far away, slightly too big, but not too much. And we can tweak that back. Try that once more. And I think we're just about there. I form the thing to my satisfaction at the moment and cut it to length so that it will fit correctly, the rising arc. Now, rather old-fashionedly, I'm using split pins for the boiler or smoke box side handrails, handrail pillars. They're infinitely adjustable, much easier to get the wire through. And on the prototype, the handrails did stand a fair distance away from the smoke box. So they'll probably come out when they're pinched up the correct size. These are brass um, split pins and they're soldered in place. You don't need to open the split pins out. In fact, it's an advantage not to because you can actually adjust them. If you leave them soldered with the tails soldered together, I hope it won't be necessary, but you can adjust them in and out 
You can't adjust them. Certainly you can't adjust them outwards if necessary, if the tails are opened up. So I'm going to thread these on. And I'm going to feed in the central one at the same time so that that goes into its hole. And you can see that already it's beginning to look as if it's fitting. And they're nice and snug. Now they need pinching up, and that's quite easy. So just use a screwdriver or something, just put behind them. And with the pliers, pinch up. and so on. Now when you're happy with that, and only when you're happy, do you commence the final soldering sequence, as it were. And the first thing to do is solder that one in. Just check that it's where you want it, in the centre. And solder from the underneath. You can't solder from the inside with this one. What I've done is tinned the little handrail pillar picking up a very small amount of solder. And coming in from underneath. Always, if you can't get from the rear, come in from underneath. And that's secure. Just check that everything's as it should be. Let's bring this out ever so slightly. That looks right, that looks right. Now we wind the iron up a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is secure the handrail to the handrail pillar. This time I'm using 145 solder. I was using low melt to attach the brass to the white metal. I'm now attaching brass to brass. So Be careful though, because I've got a very hot iron in the vicinity of the white metal, so I'm just going to touch that. Only touch the handrail pillar. Don't touch the white metal. Let's clean that up. It's a fair bit of flux. We can fit our smoke box door. It's not in the way. You have that very pleasant rising arc over the top. As I say, you can just tweak it. Just it, It's just minor adjustments. But there you are. And the smoke box door falls off, but that will be secu secured later. It's vital that this is done at this stage. Because once the smoke box door is on, once the detail's on, and you can't get in the inside, you really are in trouble. If you can solder from the inside, always do. I keep on going back to that. That's absolutely essential. But... That's not far off.